It's week three of the NFL, and all eyes are on the reigning MVP, Aaron Rodgers. He had a solid performance a week ago, throwing for three touchdowns. It's the Packers and the Buccaneers, and it's all up next. Still a bit warm here. Yeah. The really offense gets set up a wonderful fall afternoon for football here in Tampa at Raymond James Stadium. Today it's week three, and we've got a good one in store between the Green Bay Packers and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at this Buccaneer ball club. They come in losers at two straight, so they're trying to right the ship here a little bit. They're teetering a little bit, aren't they? And now things could really go south if they lose this game, so they understand the importance of playing well and stopping this streak. Meanwhile, for the visiting Packers, an early season tilt, and when it's an early season tilt, should be ready to roll. Well, let's face it, the aches and pains haven't really set in yet, and both teams eyeing a really good start to get things going. weekend of autumn and the NFL is in full swing as off we go on EA Sports. This taken in at the goal line and his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line. Leading the Packers offense out here the same man who has been doing so since 2008. That's the great Aaron Rodgers. And he's had good success here already this season throwing the football. Six touchdown passes in his two games. He's really got this offense playing with a lot of confidence, trying to establish themselves early as a Super Bowl contender. A little jet sweep to start the drive. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Now second and seven from the 23. Now it's Rodgers. That's taken in by the tight end, Josiah DeGuara. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. Now Rodgers. Got Dobbs over the middle. And he won't get to the marker. He's a yard short. A pickup of three. It leaves him with fourth and one. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Pat O'Donnell, to kick it away. This is fielded at the 27. Eight yards on the return following a punt of 41. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Tampa Bay's offense set to take the field, and of course a quarterback, 23-year veteran, who's had a Hall of Fame career several times over, the great Tom Brady. He had the numbers of a game last week that if you win, you talk about it being a gritty guy, managing the game, getting it done, but they lost. So obviously two interceptions, one touchdown pass, that's not going to be good enough. Got to get that changed around. They'll start out on the ground. It's Leonard Fournette. And he'll rumble for about five, up close to the 40. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Fakes the give to Fournette. Now Brady. This is caught by Evans. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. There's Evans again, complete. And in for the Buccaneers touchdown. Mike Evans, his first touchdown of the new season. This is a crew that come out flat their last two games, both losses, but just judging by the energy level, they look different here early, and that touchdown shows how. Yeah, it seems to me that that touchdown gets them off the treadmill. Because, you know, you, you've you been on the treadmill. I've seen you work out. You go forever and ever, and it tells you gone somewhere, but you're really out here in the same spot. They've exchanged it for an escalator. Still got some hills to climb, but they can get there. These are good analogies. I run outside sometimes, though. You know, get, get some fresh air, a little sun on your face. A little, a little wind in there. Yeah, that's right. Taking it about the one. 
And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt, they're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Yes, indeed. That play there, that reminds me of some of the guys that I played with that have that suddenness, able to get into the backfield almost about the time the ball snapped and make a play. How about that tackle for a loss? Absolutely. He did a lot of that last week when he was named the NFC Defensive Player of the Week. One of the guys on the team was saying, hey, yeah, we called him the disruptor. And that's carrying forward again. Makes sense, doesn't it? The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it second down and 11. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. And he's got it. Got his man on the end route. Complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 18 yards on his first catch of the game. It's a first down. Now Rodgers. Completed out left to Dobbs. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Good work after the catch, going to net him 23 and a first. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Rodgers now on first down. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. They'll come up now on second and a yard. And again, it's Rodgers. He'll find Jones again, complete. And they're going to move it down the inside the 25. And they'll use him out in the backfield and sometimes quite a bit. They're just trying to get him touches any way they can. Four catches a week ago, there's another one right there. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's Rodgers. He sets up the screen to Jones. And they'll get this down to the ten. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. That is caught at the seven-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. The ball on the eight still could get a first down technically, second and seven. Rodgers going to throw. That fights him off. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Rodgers now, after the sack, he'll lead the pack up on third and long. Here's Rodgers to throw. He's got the hookup with Dobbs. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. So now on fourth down, Rodgers will give way to Mason Crosby for the field goal try. From the left hash, this from 34. The kick by Crosby is good, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. Well, still trailing here, but they do get the late field goal. Now their defense will try to keep this score right where it is heading into the locker room. Yeah, trailing at the break, you obviously don't want to go in off of a negative play. Give them credit for that one. Finding a way to put points on the board. Give them any type of a spark. Anything to build off of as they try to play a comeback. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. Brady, the pass is caught by Kate Otten. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. The 
the final shot before half for Brady. Finding Otten once more. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. And we will skip the highlight show this week. Get right back to this week three matchup. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. From the 10. Pass midfield, look out. Still going past the 30. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. He returns the kickoff at even 90 yards. And the Bucs are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Such an electric play, so much fun to watch. And you need all 11 guys in sync for that to be successful, don't you? Without a doubt. That's, that's teamwork, to be able to put it all together. But that play is really probably the most exciting 10 seconds in football. Extra point put through by Sucker, and that pushes the lead up to 11. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. On first down, Rodgers. That's complete to Dobbs. And he steps out of bounds, but not before he gets inside the 35. It's a big play there for Green Bay. 42 yards. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Thrown across his body, and it's intercepted. Carlton Davis picks it. And the Buccaneers force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. So the ball changing hands on the interception. But meanwhile here, we do have an injury on the play. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. So after the INT, it's Brady. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Well, that's a good piece of quarterbacking right there because he certainly felt the pressure coming. The alternative, getting sacked for the first time. He didn't like that option at all. Did a nice job saving yardage by throwing that one away. Now Brady gets away with one. Lucky could have been intercepted, but it falls to the ground. Now Brady on the bootleg. And that nearly the pick that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. Taken in at the 22. Now a hit and a loose football. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. I feel like you and I could be in our backyard with our dads right now. What did they always say when they were throwing us the ball? Look it all the way in. Make sure you secure it. That had the feeling of not happening there on that play, that he didn't have full control of the ball. When that punt's coming in, I would have a return punch, but I would imagine it's tough to monitor those guys coming full steam ahead. Of it really is. You try and get that peak to know where they are about whether you should fair catch it or not, but sometimes you just have to have a, a sense, a feeling, and just have to make sure, number one, though, you catch the ball and put it away. So the lead extended. I, I think at this point you say, hey, defense, take us to the end. Well, if I got some good music to put to that, I could have a good country hit. I like the way you express yourself there. I think the offense has done enough so far. But like you said, if your defense is only giving up three points, it makes it a lot easier to settle for field goals on this side of the ball. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. As this offense takes the field again, CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. But doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing to battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in the second half. Second and nine from the 44. Now it's Rodgers. And Watson has it right side. Room here to run. Touchdown, Packers. 
Christian Watson, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Packers are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. Extra point up and good by Crosby. And that slices the lead down to 17-10. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Fielded right around the eight. And he's loose again. He's at the 30. 10. And he will score. Sometimes it seems like we do it simultaneously, but we rarely get to see this. Extra point up and good by Sucka. And the lead now up to 14. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've gotten pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play the same tempo, and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Throwing is Rodgers. His throw incomplete. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. And down he goes. A Buccaneer sack. Vita Vea drops it for a loss of 10. And it's going to be fourth and long. Now Rodgers got to have this one. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. The Packers unable to pick up the first. And the Bucs are going to take over with excellent field position to boot. Now a play fake. Brady. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Fakes the give to Fournette. Now Brady. This is caught. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. A good pick up there, 22. Evans' 1,000-yard streak to start his career remains intact. It is now an eight-year strong. And in his eighth season, came a career-high 14 touchdown catches as well. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. His first rushing touchdown of the year. And the Buccaneers look like they're about to put an end to their two-game losing streak as they add on to their lead. Extra point put through by Sucker. And the lead down to three touchdowns at 21. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And the man who finished it off with a run into the end zone, Leonard Fournette. The Bucs ready for the kickoff. And here we go. It's in the air. Fields it right around the goal line. Now a hit and a loose football. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And he will score. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. So they get the one score kickoff. Get a fumble, take it right back to the house. Two quick touchdowns within a matter of about 10 seconds on the game clock. It's like a big one-two punch that may lead to a knockout. Suck up for the extra point. 
And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way. The fumble return for a touchdown. This fielded right at the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. The Packers offense now. They get ready to head back onto the field. Well, their mini two-game win streak appears it might be going by the wayside unless they can pull a rabbit out of their hat. And that's going to be caught downfield by Lazard. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Throwing now is Rodgers. They're going for Lazard, but this is intercepted. A.J. Boye with a pick. There he goes, right side. The 20, 10, 5, and it's a pick six. He brings it back to the house for Buccaneer TD. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead. And it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them, play it straight, do all the right things. But these guys are going to be freewheeling now. All of them are going to take chances. And that one pays off with an INT and a return for six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Taken at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And not the first time that they're coming back out off of a turnover, but the last one really hurt Charles with that pick six. And it feels like the whole team's infected right now, doesn't it? It's not just been one person. It's kind of been a group effort where the mistakes have happened. Can they put that aside, kind of start over, and put together a nice drive? Looking to throw again on second down. Rodgers, and Rodgers intercepted a third time. Picked off by Logan Ryan, and the Bucs are gonna take possession of the football. Well, they've got the huge lead. Now they have another interception on the defensive side. Seems like everything they touch in this one, Charles, turns to gold. And they have to be awfully happy right there to get what appears to be one more for the road. It helps seal away one of their best efforts of the season. Fournette once more on second down. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. On third down, Fournette. And the trick play doesn't work. Good reaction there defensively. And it'll be fourth down. I have to admit to a little surprise here. And then down in distance, I would have thought they were going to throw the football. Instead, they decide to run it. But give credit to the defense. And they won't try and pooch it. It's a fake. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Packers pick it up. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool this defense. And the Packers D comes up with a big stop. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Meanwhile, Rodgers' throw here pulled in by Lazard. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Rodgers now on first down. And that would off the mark behind him, incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To throw is Rodgers. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. And this is caught. Well, they get one back. Picking up the late touchdown here, but still down big.
The PAT up and good, but hold on a second. There is a flag. Personal foul. Roughing the kicker. Defense. So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. And they'll indeed take a knee. Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is of all those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So for the Buccaneers, they're into the win column now as they move to one and two on the young season. And they'll have another home date next week as the Kansas City Chiefs come to town. Meanwhile, for Green Bay, they suffer defeat for the first time as they drop to two and one. And they'll try again next week at home against New England.